up guys we are back it is day two of the coilover install finally got the parts here <sighs> yep finally came in so put these together put the mounts the bearings on the struts get them in christine and get her on the ground all right so we have our front coil over here obviously we went and got brand new strut mount brand new bearing um, they're cheap enough, and when you're doing coilovers, why not just invest in what it actually mounts to? Got your our, uh, stock top hat here. Um, the way I do it, um, you can look online and you'll find many, many, many different ways or people don't show you. This is the way I do it. Obviously, you have our strut. What you can do is because you want everything tight as super possible that way when you're going over bumps you don't hit anything so I like to lower lower it down that way we get to the threaded point right there obviously you have your bearing your bearing is going to sit in a little cup boom like that um, your nut as it were is going to screw all the way down that all the way down. Now I wouldn't use an impact obviously so what you could do is use Allen wrench it's a six for these it should be the same for every single one and then you just tighten your nut that's not going anywhere take your cap and it just sits right on top and actually your car is just going to sit in right on and turn when you turn your wheel that's what's going to cause everything to turn install this in the car take your cap from the top engine bay and you're just gonna sandwich it uh, the washer that they give you you can just throw the washer on top if you know if you don't have a washer in there and then just send it down with the nylock nut the same way um you might have issues with running if you have a short, uh, let's see, what size is this? It's bigger. It might be like a 19 or a 20 something. I'll figure it out and I'll let you guys know. Put your Allen key, tighten everything down. It's going to be nice and secure. And then obviously, you're going to install your brake hose uh, bracket here. And then, obviously, your two strut bolts here. The reason why I'm not showing you doing this right now is because I wanted to do some work. Uh, the neighbor got a new, new to him Passat, a 2003 Passat. So I went over there and checked it out. He's got a leak in his valve cover gasket. But um, it rained. So I guess it hasn't rained in, Jesus, I don't remember the last time it even rained. But ground's wet. Just enough. Still drizzling. But just enough to wet the ground where I'd want to be working. So, I tell you, you can't catch a break. You gotta, you, it's not that I don't want to work on cars. It's just Florida doesn't want me to work on cars. So, that's the way I do it. I have both of them set up, ready to go. This doesn't take long at all, especially since now I have everything out. This is literally just slap in the car. I have my bolts. Everything will get put in, torque everything down, and we're good to go. All right, day three of this. It's cold. The weather's is dry. Let's get the other the driver side coilover in, and adjust the height of the suspension and then I'm taking the starter out today and then a little later I'll take it to AutoZone see if they can test it if it's bad get the new one ordered if it's good figure out what I'm gonna do next but yeah let's go so for now I'll leave it unadjusted send your strut most important thing. 
come out. And there, put your top hat mount on, and then your nut. Boom. Now it's sitting in. Let's see if I can prop you guys up. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm going to do. Okay, so vice grip with your, this is a 19, yeah, 19 mil socket. It's going to sit like this. Where's my Allen wrench? Six mil Allen wrench. So what you need to do is the nut and then since you're holding the nut steady you need to reverse thread the strut so what you need to do is loosen it or counterclockwise as if you were loosening it and it in turn tightens the nut well don't do that for sure Take your time, nice and slow. I had a handle for my Allen wrenches. If you had T handles, this would work better. Should probably grab a set, but this works pretty darn good in and of itself. Nice and tight. Take it off. All the way down. Perfectly tight. That's not going anywhere. And come down here. You'll probably need a jack. Unless you have a friend that wants to sit here and hold this. So I'm going to grab my jack. Lift everything up. And attach your bottom bolt. Your two bolts. Or your camel bolt or anything like that. Torque everything down. And you're good to go. Snug it, not too tight, because you're probably going to want to adjust the camber a bit. This is why I'm using a narrower bolt for extra, a little bit extra adjustability. Should probably change this hardware. I've had it for so long. And then pretty much just tighten everything up. Yeah, I don't want any issues with that area there. So I think we'll go up a little bit in the rear. Just a little bit. Like, maybe not even half. Front. Good. I think we'll have to measure. I think the driver's side is a bit, is a little bit higher. We'll make our adjustments, and we'll go from there. All right. Took a little bit to dial it in, but I think, I think we got it. You see there? Not much good light, but we're just, we're sitting like that in the front. The rears. So, they're just about equal, 11 inches from the bottom of the flare to the top of the wheel cap, wheel, yeah, wheel cap, it's 11 here and 10 up front, or 10 and a half up front, but either way, 
it's equal on all sides. Now, these springs will settle, so we might need to come back and adjust it a little bit more. That's why I gave it a little bit more height. So when it settles, it might drop maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe, and we'll still be at perfect, perfect right height. Car looks good now. Real good. And now, some people with their Mark Threes, they don't ride this low with their air. So we're lower than a lot of people, and it stays that way every single time. Don't have to worry about anything. Um, coming next week, I'll come back in here, take this passenger side ang axle, because the boot is ripped. I'll exchange that for the warranty, and then I'm going to take the starter out now and go and get it tested. Hopefully, it's the starter. We can get one ordered, and then we'll be able to drive her probably at least around the block because I still need to get remedy this tire situation and like I said just in case leave that here if the e-brake gives out but I did reconnect the one side so we should be good you can't even see me. that's it for today um hope you like it she's sitting she's sitting back to normal I love it I really do love it. Anyways, we're good. Anyways, if you would like to and you haven't, hit the subscribe button. Throw a couple likes. We got we're 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 gonna just seeing her like this is uh fueled everything. I think we're gonna do some things. Nothing major, but we're gonna get her cleaned up and maybe hopefully maybe get her back on daily driving uh duties. At least once or twice a week to work, for sure. She needs to stretch her legs, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, that's it. I will see you guys in the next one in the garage. Peace.